Okay, here we go. Today we're not going to blow anything up or shoot anything. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to create something. And one of the things I like to do is cook outside. And this is something that I found on YouTube uh, by a bunch of guys called the Barbecue Pit Boys. And they came up with this, they call it potato bombs. And they're really fun to make and they're really good. First thing you got to do when you're making a potato bomb is you got to core it. Now this is the core that I've got. I got it at a local kitchen supply store and it's actually an apple core. And all you do is you pretty much find the center of the potato, work it down, and punch it all the way through. You know, we kind of blew the end off of that one but that's okay. And you get the core back out. We'll put those to use. These are already done, so we didn't have to waste a lot of time watching somebody core. We'll do one more here. You can see. Usually, it's a pretty simple process. Blows right through. Now, what we're going to do with these is the pit, the pit boys. Just cut them in half and then let them hang out. What I like to do is I just like to cut a little bit on the end and we'll use these to plug the holes back up. So we'll make some plugs here. Now you can stuff these with all kinds of stuff. Just about any combination of stuff that you want to put in these things, it's fine. Uh, we've got a little ham, some onion, uh, some salami and some shredded cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you want. Any, any, like I said, any kind of combination that you want to throw together. I don't think you can really go wrong with it. They really come out well. Okay. So like I said, you just take your plug. You plug one of the ends. You get a combination of all the all of your stuffing, and you just kind of stuff it in there. Now we're using golden potatoes. A friend of mine told me about goldens, and they are really good potatoes. This is a little bit small, but it'll work. You don't want a too big of a potato either, because what I've found if it's too big. Uh, you really can't taste all the good stuff that you're stuffing them with. And then I also take the, the core and kind of tamp it in there, make sure that it's nice and solid. And you see it doesn't really take very much. Put a little bit more in there. And we plug it up. Now what we do we take a strip of bacon and we wrap it in the bacon. Nicely wrapped. Some tin foil. a little bit too much on that one. Now that one's ready for the grill. I'll show you one more here. Get one of the little bigger potatoes. Again, you take, plug one end, and you just stuff it in. And as the barbecue pit boys would say, it's going to be good. And if you've never seen the Barbecue Pit Boys, I highly recommend them. They're entertaining, very creative. Who knows, maybe one day we might have our own branch of the Barbecue Pit Boys out this way. Stuff 
it in there all that nice concoction plug it strip of bacon probably take two this is bigger oh yeah now I've seen where some people didn't put the bacon on it and they're actually pretty good without the bacon on it we've done those two and they've come out fine I think they're just a little bit better with the bacon on them Get it in the tin foil. Wrap them up. And another one's ready for the grill. So the magic of time here, we're going to get the grill going and when we throw them on, we'll catch back up and see how they're doing. Okay. So potato bombs on. Uh, this is what I mean to the medium way. <clears throat> I usually put them around the edge. Get a little bit better controllability of the heat that way. Put the cover back on. And takes anywhere between uh, 40 45 minutes to an hour okay through the miracle of time and the magic of movies we've got our potato bombs all done what I usually do it's like any other baked potato to gauge whether it's done or not I just kind of feel it and you can feel the softness in it it's no longer hard anymore so we'll break one of these open. I wish you could smell this because it smells great. There you go. Then we take our knife and we break it open even a little bit further. Our cheese is melted. All of our stuffing is done. This one's definitely ready to get eaten. So I highly recommend. It's a simple, easy recipe. Anybody can do it. You don't have to do it on the grill. You can do it in the oven if you want to. But they're really good and they're really worth a try. Good luck if you do try them.